Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Devotions with Matt. Um, sorry I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. It's been a pretty crazy two weeks. Uh, suffice it to say that just this last week, um, my daughter fell while she was actually at youth. She fractured her wrist, poor girl. It was her first night at youth as well too. Um, but so I was dealing with all of those issues last Thursday. I was planning and meaning to get this posted and get up to you guys, um, but I just, I couldn't. And you know what, that's, that's how life works sometimes. And you know, we all have grace and compassion for one another. Um, but I just wanted to, to dive in a little bit more as we've been kind of continuing working through the book of James and piggyback off of what we talked about last time. Um, we were reading in James 1, we were doing verses 13 through 15, and we kind of really highlighted on verse 13. But I'm going to read the whole section again, and we're going to kind of dive in and unpack 14 and 15 a little bit more. So starting in verse 13 says, And remember, when you are being tempted, do not say, God is tempting me. God is never tempted to do wrong, and he never tempts anyone else. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. So we talked about the aspect of last week, you know, how God doesn't tempt us. Um, the temptations come from, from our own desires is really where it is. And this is what I want to highlight and talk about a little bit more today is this aspect of how temptation grows, how it kind of festers. It starts as a little seed, it germinates, it grows. But if you look at verse 14, God's word gives us the source of all temptations. They come from our own desires. You see, we are a fallen people. If you go back all the way to Genesis 3, where the first sin happened in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, that temptation, the desire that Adam and Eve had were to be like God. And those temptations, Satan knows that we have these desires that are lurking inside of us, and that's what he preys on. And so it's not that Satan puts anything fresh and new. First Corinthians even talks about that no temptation is common. No temptation seizes you except what's common to all mankind. Um, so there's nothing new that Satan is throwing at us, but he knows that if he can get us with our own desires and we'll follow after them, because see, that's what it says. Desire gives birth to the sinful actions. And when the sin grows, it gives birth to death. Um, and I was thinking a lot about those aspects of the desires that we have, those, those wrong desires, but then we want to have the right desires. Um, and scripture even talks about it says delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart and so often i've always at least i'll just say for myself i've often thought about that verse of you know if you do the things that god is wanting you to do if you kind of invest yourself in god that he'll give you the things that you're wanting and needing and that was so such a selfish <laughs> really selfish way to look at that verse but God has started to open and shift and change my viewpoint to that when I delight myself in God, not only will he give me the desires of my heart, but what I think I see more often is that he will give me the right desires. That when I'm delighting myself in God, it's not only that the desires that are in my heart will be taken care of or given by God, but that he will implant in my heart the right desires to have. And see, that's the balance between our sinful nature that still kind of crops up and rears its ugly head and the new spirit nature that we have in us that kind of rule, kind of warring and ruling against each other, the sinful nature and the spirit nature kind of battling one another, but they're still coexisting at the same time, um, is that we have these sinful desires that Satan uses to tempt us, but then we have the spirit desires that God has given us when we delight ourselves in him. Um, so just my quick wrap up thought for the day for you guys is that, you know, when those temptations come, set them aside because they're not of the spirit desires. Ask God 
to give you the spirit desires. Delight yourself in him and let the spirit bring new life rather than that sinful nature, those sin desires bringing death. Um, and know that we can overcome anything through the power of Christ. All right, guys, we're going to keep digging in. I mean, there is so much stuff. I don't think we can even cover it in a year's worth, but we're just going to keep trudging through and, and hopefully it'll be a blessing to you guys. So have a great weekend.